the most important topic of asp.net is crystal report first of all we check that why crystal report is required so this is an example of crystal report if you want to print bill one type of bill which bill you show on in uh, mall this type of bill this type of bill you want to generate from your csap.net then you require crystal report now the after uh, generating this type of report i pressed here print so it is directly printed from printer so we have required this crystal report now we create a code for crystal report so first of all we are creating one button we are taking one button so from toolbox one button now we have to create one database so right click over here add new item it takes such time to load now mm. i select database database one dot mdf now add wait until it loads when you are inserting database first time then it take such time now database is added now from mm, it is loading not now data set next let's see currently we are using visual studio 2010 you have to follow same procedure for visual studio 2005 and now finish now the data set is added okay. now from server explorer database one dot mdf in table there uh, there are no table so we are creating one table add new table we are taking here two field name where here city where here and save we are taking by default name table one now we are double click on this button because we have to write code in this button click event 
बिफोर दैट वी आर इनसर्ट इन सम रेट वॉल इन टेबल वन सो राइट क्लिक ऑन टेबल वन एंड शो टेबल डेटा we are inserting two record now in this you have to use this libraries this library you require so you have to write this libraries and now add new item i add a crystal report crystal report i am selecting this crystal report name is crystal report 1 extension is dot rpt now add crystal report is build tool so it take such time to load wait until crystal report load we have to select blend the report okay. you can see here your crystal report is added now on on this data set double click on this data set in this data set right click add then data table we have to insert one data table we are taking two fields two fields in table one name and city so we are creating here right click add column we are creating two column again right click add column city because we are passing our record to this data table from csap.net and this data table directly connected to crystal report now in report 1.rpt from field explorer on database fields right click database export project data edio.net data set we are selecting to this data table one because we are creating before one minute on data set so data table one okay. now data tab from data table one we are creating we are taking this city here and we are taking name here now remember this is the page header section so this name and city display once and name and city this is the details view so we have five records then five records display in this detail section and this is a one type of heading so heading only include once uh, i show you in this 
PDF file. Mm. This is written in header section. Particulars. Particulars and amount is written in header section. So it is included once. So it is display one time and this is the detail section. So uh, we have if, if you have five records then it's display like this and this is written only once. If you want to write this type, this type because it is written once in during one page, in one page it is display one time. So that we have to write in a report header. This is the page header and we have to write that in report header but currently we are taking name and city to column now save control s close it on form 1.cs we have to create in database connectivity so first of all sql connection basically database connectivity con is equal to new sql connection and past year database path right click on database one dot mdf properties and you have to select this connection string copy this connection string and paste over here now you have to write this code now this is the simple sql command command type command type dot text command text select star from table one it is a by default table um, data set one you have to consider this name is your data set name if your data set name uh, data set name is database one only then you have to write only database one this is your name data set name now crystal report this is the crystal report name if you are using crystal report name is abc then you have to write over here abc this is the crystal report name now we have required one crystal report because without crystal report viewer we have to insert in crystal report viewer without crystal report viewer we are not showing our crystal report so we are taking here crystal report viewer crystal report display in this crystal report viewer now crystal report viewer one dot report source is equal to my report my report is our crystal report now we run this when I press this button I get record over here I already press this button first time it takes such time when you are loading this study for first time then it takes such time now you can see here this is the heading and this is the record if you have three records then it di display three records but most important part is you have to write this code in button click event and you will get this type of output this is the most important code you have to write this code 
ओके थैंक यू